Hey y'all, it's Shannon Hicks and welcome back to another Real Talk Story Time. I have a story today that I want to share with you that I think is very appropriate for every boy and every girl, no matter if they're a big boy or a big girl or a little boy or a little girl. It is about being perfect. And I know sometimes we all want to be perfect, but you know you really don't have to, and that's okay. And the story we read today is going to show you just that. It is called The Good Egg, and it is by Jory John, illustrated by Pete Oswald. If you've been following us a few months ago, I read another book by the same author and illustrator called The Bad Seed. So you can go back and watch that one if you want. But here's another one that I really like. It is called The Good Egg. And oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. You know why? Because I'm a good egg. A very good egg. It's true. I do all kind of good things like I'll carry your groceries. I'll water your plants. I'll change your tires. I'll paint your house. If you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days back at the store. There were a dozen of us living together under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clay and Shell and Shelly and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior. They weren't exactly um, good. They ignored their bedtime. They only ate sugary cereal. They threw tantrums. They cried for no reason. They broke their stuff on purpose. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was a good egg. A very good egg. Nobody seemed to care though. Every night, I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Then, one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. My doctor said I was from putting all the pressure on myself all the time. The pressure of making sure everybody was as good as me. I was cracking up, literally. Something had to change. I'd had enough. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelly and Shelby and Shelby and Edward and Frank and the other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only good egg in a bad cart, I said. Blah, 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 they replied. I left that night. I wandered from town to town. The hours became days. The days became weeks. I lost track of time. I was alone. Out there, on the road, under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. I took walks. I read books. I floated in the river. I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in and I breathed out. I even started painting. For once, I found time for me. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. I started to feel like myself again. So I've made a big decision. I'm gonna go back home. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. This time, I know what I need to do. I'll try not to worry so much. I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good 
to myself. Here we go. Everybody missed me. I missed them too. Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hey, Greg. Greetings, Clegg. What's up, Shell? Aloha, Shelly. Hey, old Sheldon. Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? Howdy do, other Frank. Sure, every once in a while, somebody's still a little bit bad. But it's not like before. Here's what I realized. And here's what you should realize too, boys and girls. The other eggs aren't perfect, and I don't have to be either. I'm okay with that. Yep, the old carton is back together. We're a solid dozen again. Sure is good to be home. The end. Remember, boys and girls, nobody expects you to be perfect. All the world expects is for you to be you. And that is perfect. So until next time, oh, before I finish, let me let you know, this amazing book and others like it are on our Hoopla digital download database. So if you want the good egg or the bad seed or any other books like that, like the couch potato, you can go right to Hoopla. Until next time, don't try to be perfect, but keep reading.